I sent a letter, refusal to pay, don't contact me. Guess what? They contacted me. And because they did that, my attorney was able to look at it and find some violations. And we filed, uh, they uh, actually had to settle for $7,500. Not once, but twice, because me and my wife. Now, while we're in the middle of that first lawsuit, guess what they did again? Let's get back. What up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Where's Jay at? I thought Jay was going to be here with me. Yeah, bro. I had to put my teeth in. All right. No, you got your teeth. They're looking good. They're looking good. Thank you so What's much up, for that product, man. Like, you know, Jeremy's going to kind of go on a little memory lane. I know we got just 30 minutes to get through this. Uh, but, yo, man, everybody, Prada is the real one. Um, every coach in this group has been real. I jump into their calls. Um, things that I've learned along the way has been amazing in this community. If you're not in the Discord community, I'm telling you, like, you're missing out, right? So, Prada's right, you know, he came to me one day and he says to me, yo, we're dropping this credit repair game. And I said, nah, man, the amount of lives that you impact, how real you are. I know a lot of coaches, I know a lot of social media influencers, right? And I said, as real as you are, after knowing all these other CROs out there, these social media guys, you gotta keep going, man. You, you, you not only make me want to keep going, right? So, Big shout out to Prada for that, man. I mean, you know, thank you so much, Prada, for, for being part of, you know, Instagram and my algorithms and stuff, man, because we came across each other. You know, I don't know how, but somewhere in this credit repair world, you know, we came across and we've been a great relationship with you and we helped a lot of people through you, man. So thank you a lot, Prada, for that. Sure, sure. Yeah. So a little bit about myself. So my name is Damien. I'm originally from Miami, Florida. Um, you know, credit is one of the biggest things to me in my life. Um, it, it's very something I'm very passionate about. So much so that, you know, um, I've really been able to learn how to really perfect my credit or make it better, right? And use that credit to be able to put myself in better positions, right? So much so that, um, you know, I never graduated high school. Shoot, I went to prison, right? I got out of prison at the age of 21, right? And Jeremy always says, his name is prison story, right? But I'm not gonna, I'm making short this time, Jeremy. So uh, I went to prison young as hell, and I ended up, you know, saying to myself, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna do the right things going forward. And, I'm going to put my hustle there. So at the end of the day, why I say that is because, you know, I didn't graduate. I didn't go to college. I didn't do any of that. But I put myself in a position because of my credit. Right. I put myself in a position to be able to leverage it and build a credit repair software doing the things that Adrian just talked about. Right. Uh, me and Jeremy got together and we ended up building a credit repair software because we started doing credit repair in the pandemic, as Adrian was talking about. Right. Uh, myself and my wife have been doing financial services for about seven years prior to the pandemic. During the pandemic, we started doing credit to help people that were our clients that in the pandemic, they were getting hurt. Um, so uh, we had mortgages. We had, you know, uh, life insurance, investments and all kind of financial products that we were doing. Um, and a lot of people were trying to buy homes, but they couldn't because of the pandemic. Credit being hurt. We got into credit. And I had good credit. I had a little money set aside, right? Jeremy laughed at me because I spent a lot of money on coaches and gurus and I ended up learning how great their lives are, right? Uh, that's what I love about the Discord. You know, it's like, yo, you don't got to pay me $10,000 for you to see me buy the new Ferrari, right? Um, even though, Prada, I got no shame. You buying a Ferrari, bro, just pick me up, right? Just make sure you got a double wide seat on the side, bro. Um, but at the end of the day, my, my, my life went into credit one way or the other. Came across Jeremy and... We took it serious, right? We know kids like us, right? My parents, Mario, both lived, came from Cuba. I didn't know anything about financial credit, so I had to learn the hard way. My parents could have done something a little better for me had they would have known these things, right? But their life could have been better too, right? Um, had they known these things and how to use finances and how to use their credit, just like Derek Lofton was saying. So, um, yeah, so sorry about that. I know it's two of us here, so... Uh, Jeremy, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself no, a bit? No, you go ahead. You, you do your and thing, I, and I'll come after you. Yeah, you do your All thing, right, cool. I'll come after you. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. So, um, you know, and, and, and I'm able to see, you guys see my wife, um, you know, if you know you, Sammy, uh, drop a one in the chat for my wife. You know, if you've been able to talk to her, she's awesome. Um, she's amazing. She does a lot here for us at Mustard. And, you know, because of credit, guys, I've been able to get rid of every single thing I own, right? It sounds crazy, right? You want to own everything, right? But I was able to get rid of everything I own, right? I was in a point in my life where I didn't want to have anything, right? Um, so um, I didn't want to have bills on top of me. I didn't want to have that. So as of November of last year, we decided to get rid of everything. We've traveled the country. We've traveled uh, for this entire year all up and down the East Coast, right? So credit allows you to get to the point where you can own a business, have VAs run your business for you while you go out and show what you can do, right? Um, so it's a beautiful synergy for us. Um, now, 
let me go ahead and, and show y'all a little bit about credit because I do want you guys to understand credit, right? Because credit is very important. I don't care if you're coming to, if you're coming to law, you definitely can go to D. Lawson if you don't have credit cards, right? And you can't get credit cards unless you got credit. Um, unless you're coming to D. Lawson with a couple of secured $300 cards, right? Um, at that point, then I don't know if you can do anything with Lawson. Um, whether you want to go with Tyrant, can't do that, right? Um, whatever it is that you're really trying to do to excel in this world, unless you've got a, an access to somebody with capital and they can give you a million dollars because they like you, it's not going to happen, right? So credit is that poor man's way of being able to start these businesses right um so it's pretty pretty awesome to be able to uh, really understand credit but let me go ahead and share my screen really quick so i can show you a little bit about credit sorry i'm outside <laughs> another thing about being your own boss right you get to be from wherever you want to be all right so there you go d you, you were talking about it look at me i'm already a member i hope i get points for that all right so let me go ahead and get to my little presentation that I had a VA uh, for $4 an hour actually do for me, okay? <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome that you can have a team do these things for you. But um, so I'm going to talk a little bit to you guys about everything about credit, right? So we're going to be very basic. I'm not going to go too deep. If you're in the Discord community, you know how deep we go. Um, Jeremy and my wife are both in the uh, messenger. I got people inside of WhatsApp telling me, yo, talk fast, stop using your hands, right? So I'm going to try to go as, as, as fast as I can, but with the basics, right? Because I want you all to really join the community because we go deep in that community, all right? So... The basic, the basic things that we always talk about when we talk to any client or anyone that's worried about credit repair, right, is the ability to understand it from a perspective of what it's made to do, right? Um, credit wasn't made for people like us, right? Credit was made for uh, big businesses at, when it first got started, right? Um, but they saw how lucrative it can be being able to provide credit to people just like us, right? People who are going to use credit without really being able to even manage their own finances, right? And I'm, and I'm thankful for people like Bill Lawson that I learned uh, to use credit cards over debit cards because, you know, that's somebody else's money. They, they're protecting their money. They got way more money. They got more. That money means a lot more to them than it does to me, right? So if they know on a credit card that, yo, I, I'm not going to pay you because this ain't my charge, they're not going to get that money back. So they're going to say, okay, cool. We'll fight it off on another, on another route, right? Um, so being able to understand your credit, the better your credit, the better your chances are getting with a company like that. So being able to understand your credit is one of the most important things you can do in any type of business that you start. Um, or even just living your day-to-day -day life. You want to buy a house. You want to get your kids out of college, right? It all starts with credit. You can leverage that credit and be able to put a kid to college, right? Um, so the uh, why understanding this is important, I just talked about it. Um, you know, the, the most important thing about all things credit, though, um, is that it enables you. It enables you to be able to do, um, you know, the things that you normally wouldn't typically be able to do. Right? I, I can't tell you how many times I got friends of mine that tell me about a story that, yeah, you know, I had this opportunity where I could have really capitalized. One of my buddies went in, and he ended up walking away with a million dollars. Man, I wish I would have had thirty thousand dollars. Well, if you had you had a credit card, had you know how to liquidate it, you've been able to still be a part of that. Earned a million dollars, paid off that two thirty thirty seven thousand dollars, and now you walk away rich right instantly like that right it can happen you just got to be set up for that but you're missing those opportunities and you don't have access to that cash right or to that credit um so it's very important right and understanding the best practices um you know how lofty was talking about uh you know being able to say hey i understand these credit cards that i'm walking into what are the refund policies how do i maximize uh, my credit so that i can get the most benefit out of it right um and then the most important thing which is something that you know you see it a lot on tiktok you see a lot all over the place right where they talk about a new fcra law right and it goes into kind of what product talks about about us um we're very big on compliance we're very big on making sure this thing is done the right way um so and um, I just got notified I got two minutes, bro, right? <laughs> so um, the idea of what we're getting to with this is that um, the the credit repair, I mean, the credit that if you don't know your rights, a lot of people's rights are being violated right now. So if you don't know your rights, you don't even know what they're violating, right? Um, it's already known that over 80% of the credit reports out there have some kind of error, right? Um, these are actual human, these are actual rights given to you by the law um, as a consumer. So very important that you understand these things. So um, there are a couple things that you guys want to go out there and learn about. Um, if you don't know already, which I'm pretty sure everybody here knows you have TransUnion at Equifax and Experian as the main credit bureaus out there that report your data and they earn an income. So just like Credit Karma is an affiliate, um, uh, these bureaus are actually the pushers of your data where they earn an income on, right? Um, there's other bureaus out there that are, as well as data furnishers, where even these bureaus grab their information from. But just understand who the bureaus are. These are the main three. They're not a government agency. They are a business, okay? Um, actual people own those companies and the people that own it is astonishing. But um, there's a difference between FICO and Vantage scores. Um, I'm not going to get too deep into that now, but the Vantage score is basically the bureau of what they created as a score. And the FICO is more of a concrete score that most big vendors go by. 
Okay. Uh, the consumer laws that are in Europe in place to protect you. Uh, um, the famous FTC that product was talking about that we stay away from um, unless it's very necessary to do so. Um, the CFPB, which is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And then we have the SCRA and the FDCPA, who are the two most common in this space. Um, the SCRA is basically the, the act that governs the credit reporting agencies, right? The bureaus, um, they're the ones that are kind of governed by that. And then the FDCPA, which is basically the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, which means that you have... Um, you're, you're, these are the people that govern those debt collectors. Even the credit card that's now collecting on a debt, right? And they put collections on your report. That's now governed under the uh, Debt Collectors Practice Act. Now, if these things are violated, you can make some serious cash. And Jeremy's going to get into that a little bit here. But um, the credit score factors, just really quickly, um, this is your deal here. Um, you're basically saying, you know, how much you're using is 30% of your score. <clears throat> the higher you are in utilization, the more your score is affected and your payment history. How, how on time are you with your payment? Okay, and then the best credit practices are basically pay your bills on time, keep your utilization low, and keep monitoring these accounts. Try to stay away. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all, I pulled out here, right? So try to stay away from uh, uh, acquiring new uh, debts that you don't really need, or opening up new lines or applying for new ones that you don't really need unless you're advised or you know the steps that you're taking in order to uh, get what you're looking for. And <clears throat> the importance of understanding your credit, right? So we're gonna talk a little bit more about this in a little bit. Um, but I'll show you this in again in a second here. But um, yeah, if you guys are getting some information here that's worthwhile, just drop something in the chat and let me know that you're here with me because that's the only way I function when I see engagement. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, awesome, awesome. So go ahead, Jeremy. Sorry about that. It took a no, you're good, that. you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. What's up, fam? How y'all doing? Jeremy Roberts here real quick. Um, born and raised Houston, Texas. Live in Virginia now. Got a wife and a whole bunch of kids and all that other stuff. So uh, as long as y'all can hear me, put a put a one in the chat. No, put a three in the chat. Do a three. We've been doing all these ones. Let's do a three. That's my line number. I'm a member of Cap Alpha Psi, and I was number three. Trade Club. All of you uh, fraternities and stuff out there. All right, so real quick, you guys, we want to jump in. Damien talked a little bit about the FDCPA, and what I want to do, I want to show you guys how uh, my wife and I, we were able to take a $444 debt a collection company put on our credit report. We turned that $444 to a $24,000 settlement. Who want to who wanna hear that? Put, put 444 in the chat. Put 444 in the chat. We're going to show you, I'm going to show you real quick what I did. I'm going to show you the letter. Matter of fact, I'm going to put the letter inside of Discord. <clears throat> so if you guys that join Discord, we're going to make sure we have the letter in there, the exact letter that I use. And I'm also going to give, uh, put in there Google Drive, a video that I shot showing, it's like a nine minute video showing every step that I took to get that. All right, a bunch of 444s. Yeah. So like Damien said, um, the, the credit reporting agencies, that's one thing, but we have the debt, uh, the debt collectors, that's a whole nother thing. And so I want to show you um, exactly what I did. And I'm also going to put in the chat, no Prada mentioned the FTC. We don't really like to use it unless we need it. And in this case, we, we, we definitely, um, I was able to take advantage of it and utilize that. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Hopefully you guys can see that. Can y'all see that? Okay. Yay. Yay. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a boy from Houston. And I'm going to give you a little line from one of my favorite rap groups, see if y'all know who it's from. All right. So this is the FTC. I mean, um, go up here, FTC, but then it also covers the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. I'm going to go right down here to this one right here, communications in connection with debt collection, in case you guys didn't know this. All right. So let me go ahead and hit this. I'm trying to hurry up real quick because I know we got some more fire coming after us. Let's talk about communication. Let's go here to C ceasing communication who in here are tired of getting phone calls from debt collectors or tired of getting you know uh letters from debt collectors and things like that bothering you you agree to do you agree to do business with bank of america you didn't agree to do business with midland funding you didn't agree to do business with lvnv funding you didn't agree to do business with uh, portfolio recovery and hopefully i'm saying some names that y'all are familiar with but who we didn't agree to do business with them we agreed to do business with bank of america or, or chase or capital one or whatever but they decided to sell the debt all right cool they sold the debt they charge it off they wrote it off on their taxes they actually got insurances that protect them from now and now this debt collection company is trying to harass us and everything like that so you look right here cease communication if i if all you have to do is ask them to stop contacting you right and so this is what i did 
If a consumer notifies a debt collector in writing that the consumer refuses to pay the debt or that the consumer wishes the debt collector to cease further communication with the consumer, the debt collector shall not communicate further with the consumer with respect such debt, except only way they can contact you if they if they're saying, hey, I uh, just want to let you know I got your letter. We're going to stop. You know, we're going to stop reaching out to you. Or if they say, all right, cool, we got your letter. We're going to file a lawsuit. Or if you get, you know, like a judgment or something like that. But if you get a letter in the mail from that debt collection company with the same little letter that they always send because like adrian told you these companies outsource and they got somebody working for four dollars five dollars an hour that really don't care they get that letter in their system and they just hit a button and they send out another letter to you i'm gonna show you how we turn 444 dollars into twenty four thousand dollars settlement and i'll be done all right um like i said I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a boy from houston um and this is this is me when i was a little baby as you can see i ain't trusted bureaus then and that was a look on my face i keep looking over my shoulder and people around corners my mind is playing tricks on me who is that from Does anybody know who that is anybody know who that is i might i might get you i might do something free for you ghetto boy look at look at leslie boy you showing your you showing yourself leslie all right cool so look here real quick real quick let me get through this all right, so here's my here's my lawsuit against this debt collection company. And the lawsuit with this debt collection company, not only did I sue them, but my wife, she had an attorney, the same attorney utilized uh, the, her information and sued them as well. So it was double the, double the fun, right? So they sued on her behalf, sued on my behalf. And they end up settling. They didn't even go to court because my attorney wanted a jury trial. They don't want a jury trial. These debt collectors, they don't want to go to court because they know that they're at a disadvantage, so they were willing to settle. Right. So here was a four hundred and forty four dollar debt right here that they said that we owed. And based upon the Fair Credit Reporting Act, they supposed to be reporting this information correctly. And they're not because right here it shows that this here is an individual account. This shows that it's a joint account. So which one is it? So that's that's a whole nother separate violation. But the attorney was like, look, we ain't gonna go after the credit reporting agency. Let's go after the debt collectors because they, they gonna do what exactly what I plan for them to do. And so that's what happened. I sent a I sent a letter refusal to pay don't contact me guess what they contacted me and because they did that my attorney was able to look at it and find some violations and we filed uh they uh, actually had to settle for seventy five hundred dollars not once but twice because me and my wife now while we're in the middle of that first lawsuit guess what they did again some employee four or five dollars an hour whatever they like whatever we just sent out another letter they sent out another letter i asked the attorney i'm like man what do we do with this he was like we're gonna get them again let's finish this one we're gonna get them again the second settlement we end up getting four thousand four thousand her four thousand me that's eight thousand dollars so that's twenty four thousand dollars from a 444 dollars debt all they had to do was remove it off the credit report and just leave it alone but they wanted to continue to keep it on there so it could affect my credit so i couldn't get some of the things that i wanted to get and now they had to pay a twenty four thousand dollars i didn't get paid the whole twenty four thousand but they had to pay twenty four thousand and my attorney got paid on the back end because attorneys fcra attorneys they normally get paid on the back end and they're not going to charge you up front all right so is this was was this good did this did this open somebody's eyes give me a one give me a one and uh and uh, I, I can't help but say this prada thank you for allowing us to be in here to teach you know of course me and damien can teach on this stuff for hours and that's what we do in discord so make sure you join the discord group uh damien i don't know if you i don't have the link but if you can drop the link in there join the discord group if anything else just join the discord group you know you it's a trial you get it for free you get access to all these coaches and all this teaching and you just get a whole bunch of knowledge that we didn't know before we didn't have access to this stuff and so there's no more excuses there's no more excuses that we don't have access and ain't nobody holding you down ain't nobody holding you back nobody got their finger on your neck it's all you all right so join the discord group because the information is there it's like a college and you got professors that are in the game and that's willing to teach you and that's it i'm done that's man. what's up man thanks jeremy thanks prada thank y'all and just remember man. here we're gonna be here every thursday 8 p.m okay every thursday for the most part until things change but except next week yep for sure Jeez, man, these guys are great. Don't let you them play tricks saying, on you. Don't let them bureaus play tricks on you. <laughs> like we always say, foot on neck, foot on neck. They coming at you, you come at them. They harass you, you harass them. Yeah. It's yep. a doggy dog world out there. The bigger dog gonna eat. <laughs> when you run out of letters, send them a lawsuit. That's the language they speak.